wine bottle and turn it into a sophisticated, gorgeous home decor centerpiece. So um, on my happy crafting on a budget, I went live for a few minutes, but I wanted to come live with y'all who are my good, good peeps and share with you what I'm doing and see if um, this inspires you to do something fun for yourself or with your family. So if you are chilling out, you might be like, girlfriend, the restaurants are open and the bars are open, so I am not at home. But if you are watching this later, then I hope this gives you some ideas. And if you're running around or you finish a bottle of wine tonight, you know what to do with the bottle. This is what's really cool. Okay, here we go. All right. So I took this um, bottle here. And people give me bottles all the time. But I have this bottle right here. And my friend Linda and I were at Hobby Lobby recently. And I um, was with her and we bought some different fabrics, okay? And this had light colors on it, but I loved the words friendship, faith, and so forth. So when I started this, I was going to um, basically do a fall theme for you guys because I have been um, trying to clean and get all my like crafting stuff out of my house. And so I was like, oh, I could do a centerpiece with this fabric. Look at this. This is a swatch that I've had left over. Isn't that beautiful for fall colors? And then I have this one. So I was just going to do a basic backdrop and then these colors, but I have not decided if I'm going to use them on this or not, because this is becoming so beautiful that we could put twinkling lights in here, right? And the top actually could hold um, a tea light candle holder. How cool is that? Imagine having, um, this is a big bottle, but imagine having a small one. You can do it on any kind of glassware that you want. So this fabric I got, um, I used my Hobby Lobby app and got this fabric. And um, I have just been cutting away. But I would love, I see y'all watching. So I would love for you to share. Can you just tell me? Because I'm like, talking to me, myself, and I. Would you rather have me take this like just like sophisticated with the the white, the gray, and oh, let me show you um, why I'm asking you this. I could take it with the white and gray and then we could actually wrap it with this as a centerpiece, right? And maybe some, you know, twine up along the top. Or if you want me to, I can have this as a backdrop still, and I could do a fall theme. So please tell me. Hey, girlfriend, Miss Linda. All right, look, I'm using the fabric already. So do you have any thoughts? Would you rather me do a, maybe it would be fun for me to cut that over that. I don't know. But this, this, um, this burlap with this, um, Look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness sakes. All right. Just keep me posted. We're going to we're going to play and just see how this evolves. Y'all, I don't know what I'm doing with myself having a cup of coffee at this late at night. So if I start chatting with y'all and you're like she never stops, it's cuz I had coffee. <laughs> Linda, I got your message about the um The activities tomorrow. Did you want to try to meet up? Because I think Kurt's closing the pool. Just message me later if you want to. I can see what he's doing. Or maybe he'll come with me and meet you. I don't know. Anyways, when you use fabric this light colored, it is going to be so pretty lit up on the inside. And once this dries, we could actually paint over these words with a brush or a paint pen or a Sharpie and accentuate the word love, friends, hope. Wouldn't that be cool? 
Oh my goodness. What comes to me is like, after I do this, I could actually label this with little scriptures that for me, this, um, that mean hope, that mean love, that men means friendship, that mean love. Cause I don't know if this will go on my kitchen table as a centerpiece. This might go in my sunroom, uh, which was originally like my prayer room, but now I have the cottage here. So now I'm starting to put my stuff here in like my little special space because then nobody sits in my chair. <laughs> uh, okay, let's do this. And I would love to know like what you think. Have you ever decoupaged with fabric? Use a small amount of the fall and some twine on top. Okay, we have a bunch of running to do tomorrow. Same girlfriend. It's supposed to rain here too. Um, okay. So I'm going to, so I'm actually pulling this fabric tight. Okay. That's the nice thing about this fabric. It is very thin. I don't know if I would like it for a blanket because it's thin. I don't know what, but I love it for using for art. That is for sure. I am going to do a lot with this piece, I think. I ended up getting like two yards of it, so pretty excited about it. And I don't have to cover up the gaps, but I think for me right now, I'm going to go ahead and cover them up just because I'm not exactly sure what I am doing with the, con the art concept yet. Call it art, call it craft. Oh my goodness sakes. I'm going to get myself, see, I'm going to get my voice, I'm going to get my fate, my voice in trouble or what I'm saying. All right. So I've had my art in galleries, right? But I remember showing something to somebody and they were like, oh, well, it had a piece of, um, piece of jewels in it, right? Oh, well, that's maybe more crafty. So I don't know if we'd want that in our gallery. Okay. Let me just be a little ornery for a second, all right? Here's why I say let me be an ornery for a second. Because right in the other room, they had a window, a literally a windowsill that had like pieces of broken jewelry and glass siliconed in. So that was okay, but me infusing my jewelry into an acrylic painting wasn't so weird. <laughs> so I just encourage you to not just say you're a crafter, but that you're an artist because you're creating, you're creating. Okay. And make sure you subscribe to my YouTube because I will have like finished of the whole project. Might not this one. I may turn this into a class. It just depends on how elaborate I end up getting. Just depends. All right. So there we go. All right. Note to self. Put down some white tape paper so that way I don't get cardboard on top of my fabric. Guys, this is so pretty. It's beautiful. Let me put this up for a second. Look. Da -da 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 -da. It's making me happy. This is how I feel about you guys. You give me hope. You give me friendship, even though if we've never met face to face, my conversations with you. Sharing my creativity grows my faith. And my love for you guys grow. So this has got to go in my cottage. Who am I kidding? I might have to make a second one for the house. <laughs> All right. So just for, as my friend Coop from Indiana would say, for kicks and giggles. All right. So for kicks and giggles, we're going to go ahead and cut this swatch out. And I'll finish this part later but this is such a pretty fabric swatch 
I don't know if I can get my hands on this one. It's like fabric, but a like a uh, embroidery with it. Some type of like Southern Home Collection or something. So I'm just going to bring this around. Remind me to take my scissors up to the house and sharpen them with the aluminum foil, please. Leave it to a school teacher to tell me that one because I did not know that. Seriously, I didn't know that you could sharpen scissors with aluminum foil. Did you? But lights inside of this is going to be so pr pretty. Yes. Keep it on the chic side. Yes, I agree. I wanted it to be really classy, sophisticated, that it can stay up all year long, not necessarily just fall. And the thing about these colors is it doesn't have to be just during this time of year, but it will go with everything. Now, what I could do is I could cut around the brown and bring it But I'm going to take that little thingamajiggy off so that way you don't see that caption. Okay. I think I'm going to cut this brown here. I don't like that brown right there. So let's cut that off. And I'm going to go around the petals just a little closer. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to go into this brown. Up at the top part. Let's pull that. And let's do it right here. And... By the way, if y'all want to do more of this kind of stuff, because I do a lot of private things, like Linda's in my tribe, um, go to joinhappytribe.com and just at least get on the notifications for a private invite from me. Joinhappytribe.com. And no, you cannot join right now, but it may open soon. I have not decided when. All right, so I'm going to wrap it right here where we went ahead and had the, and I'm going to go ahead and bring that part of that brown down. So here we go. I hope y'all like me doing lives like this. It helps me to know what you like watching. If you like watching, watching some creative stuff like this, or you like me designing the barn quilts, or if you like all of it, tell me. <laughs> or Trisha, I have never ever done this. Have you, and can you show me? Like a lady the, uh, just asked me recently, she was like, are you going to teach a class on um, doing ceramic tile, painting on ceramic tile, or designing art on ceramic tile? And I was like, oh yeah, I've done like five different versions of it. And so we started talking and I'm like, oh, I need to make like a little online class for that, don't I? All right, let's wrap this around. Oh, oh, oh. Y'all, I can't help it. <laughs> I can't help it when I get my happy on. I just get so excited when something looks so pretty and I never thought of it. By the way, the lighthouse that I did yesterday, if y'all watched it, I already sold it. It's shipping to uh, Georgia, the original, but I'm going to have prints made um, and I'm going to have them on um, paper, but I'm also going to have some prints made on wood. And I have a story about um, how his light helps drive out our personal darkness, because for those who are battle any kind of depression or grief, I, I literally did, just painted that in the spirit and I'm just, I just hope it can, like the prints, 
can go to people that you want to touch. Okay. Can you want us to, all right. Before I do the top and it's glossy, let's pull it up. Let's pull it up guys. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. I'm getting excited in my happy hat. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my goodness sakes. Totally love. Do you totally love? Oh my goodness. How classy is that? Hey, Sally. How are you, girl? Are you still with me? Man, it has been years since we met when I spoke at Prudential. Isn't it crazy how life just flies by? You were such a pleasure to work with. Really an inspiration, the way you taught and everything. So I'm just so glad we stay connected through the years. All right, I'm going to go ahead and cover this with the Mod Podge. And just in case you might have missed it, I said I use my coffee creamer holder for the Mod Podge because it doesn't get the top dirty. And um, so you could open it a lot easier. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dab that because it has some, you know, it has um, colors. This is going to be so pretty. Oh, shoot, it already is pretty. So I'm like, really, it's amazing. I actually have taught wine bottle uh, decoration classes. So me doing this one for free is really just a, a way to give you guys some Friday night happy. But um, if somebody had asked me, you know, do you have samples? And pretty much all of them sell. If I put them up for sale, they sell. I had, um, I would put my stuff up at a gallery in Davidson, North Carolina, and my, my bottles would sell all the time. Let's wrap that around. Just simple. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That is so pretty. Okay. So now, and I may cut this at the end um, a little bit more off, but right now, I just want that to sit right now. Well, wait a minute. Maybe I will just cut that just a little bit. And with, the, I mean, even though I'm using Mod Podge, I mean, I can go back with um, my E6000 glue. Some of y'all use hot glue guns and stuff, and that's totally cool, too. I just, I do so much mixed media that E6000 glue is like my, my staple that I always have on me. You know what I'm saying? I'm loving that. Okay, so let's, I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of this gray up here on that right now. So that way we have that covered. Let's go ahead and do that. By the way, if you need, if any of your, if you need personal prayer or um, you want a friend or a loved one to be prayed for, you don't have to post it here. Just send me a private message with their name. And I promise I will put them in my prayer list and start praying for them. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to do that. Oh, yeah. There we go. I'm just using their, these little scraps now because they're just kind of filling in the spaces. So there's not really any words or anything on them. 
I'm just basically designing, putting it on as a, the backdrop. Hey, Linda, do you think we could do snowmen with wine bottles? Like this could be his belly. <laughs> that would be so cute. You know, we, you know we're going to be looking at that. You know we are. I'm going to have to. I don't know about y'all. I get so excited. There's just not enough hours in the day to do all the things that I want to do. I love it. And to be able to teach y'all and give you inspiration is just really a joy. I have... Um, two ladies coming to my um, barn quilt painting workshop and they are actually a live a few hours away, but they're coming just the two of them to have a girl's weekend, but they are quilters and they were like, we would love to maybe have a, a um, barn quilt painting at our church. And I'm like, you just tell me when, and we will put it together. I would love to drive and come because I, I it just brings me so much joy. So instead of speaking at big conventions, which if God calls me back to do it, I will. But I just love being with y'all in intimate groups and us laughing and enjoying each other and listening to music and just being together. It's just, it's awesome. There we go. Still have one more little crack there, but I'm not, I think I'm gonna do something with that little, little crack there. Let's flip this over. I'm gonna do with this one main area and then we're going to play around with uh, fusing in more of the leaves, okay? And in this particular session, I don't want to talk about painting. I want you to feel comfortable in knowing that, wow, just some fabric, just some glue, and a jar. I don't need to feel like I have to paint or do something to that, you know, not that level. But let me just say why I say that, because someone asked me, um, how much... How much creativity do I need to have to come to the barn quilt painting? And I was like, zero. I will be there with you and I'm going to label everything and the colors and it'll be already lined out and labeled in pencil by me. So you just sit down and have fun. So that's why I don't want to bring in um, a, a acrylic painting in this. I might teach my tribe that um, as an accentuation of this or... But for you, I just want you to feel comfortable using fabric, glue, and glass. You know? Not that you can't paint, because you can. But just giving you some inspiration. Plus, if you're working with a loved one and you're like, I don't want to have to rinse brushes. You know, someone who's older, someone who's younger. You don't have to worry about that. Okay? Oh, so good. Okay. So what you think? Tell me. All right. So I've got this on black and you would think the colors are similar, but they're kind of not because of the background. So see how that's on dark and this is on light. Maybe I should do, wait, let's cut the, wait, hold on. Hold on. No. Which one do you want me to do? Dark or light? Any thoughts? If I don't hear from you, I'll just pick one. <laughs> Dark or light? All right, let me see. 
Let's do the, um, let's do these stems for these stems, leaves. Let's do those. Let's cut those out first. You know, this is going to sound really funny. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. And I'm really excited about the rain. Because I come down to the cottage and I can hear the pitter patter on my roof. And it's like a little cozy. Let's see how this comes together. Linda, if you're still watching, you know, this wine bottle with your buttons as a whole decor um, offering would be amazing. It's like Deb Bailey. She does these uh, paper flowers. They are just so beautiful, right? And she's... She's walked me through it once or twice, but it's, uh, you know, I'm, I'm so busy on the, the art realm, not the art, the painting realm that I'm not doing it. Right. But talk about pulling it all together where you could have like the paper flowers in the top and then have the, with the wire and then have the twinkling lights underneath. That's something that can, you know, stay up and just really cool. Yeah, I'm not a, um, I don't know if I'm liking this. You know what I'm going to do? I don't know if you can see me here because um, I don't have the other camera, but I'm going to actually really cut this down to the nitty gritty and actually use them as strands of um, leaf, not as a whole one piecer. Ooh, those little scrap pieces of brown, those might come in handy too, though. Okay, so I'm going to snip this. Snip, snip. And I am going, oh, yay. Wait, I just saw it. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm liking it now. I'm seeing it come together. Wee. Yes. 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 Okay. Oh my gosh. You know what's going to happen? These little pieces of um, you know brown are going to end up as petals or something how is it the littlest things in life can make us happy when we choose you know I'm a life coach and purpose coach so I can't help but say that but when we like, you know, if you could go around, let's say, let's say you had a notebook with you for the day, for the week, and you wrote down every time you've got a feeling of joy and you logged your activity. You know, they talk about an eating journal, right? But what about an energy journal, like, or the happy journal where you actually became intentional and logged? What brought you a feeling of joy and peace? Or really joy, just this. Huh. Talk about awareness of, of how that, of where to focus your efforts, where to focus your energy. Even in relationships, you know.
after Christmas, I've I probably got to get it up um, because I have a curriculum on the way back to you and just setting your intentions for the for the 12 months. And, you know, 2020 has been so crazy. Right. But it's a wonderful way to um, just center yourself and say, OK, so much has happened this year. And regardless of what's out of my control, what can I control? And, you know, I can control my actions. I can control my attitude. I can control um, my boundaries. Boy, that's a big one, right? By the way, I'm not preaching to y'all. I'm, I'm actually talking to myself. <laughs> because I always have to remember boundaries. You know, sometimes I feel like sometimes I take on more than I need to be taking on. And I don't know why I do that. Like, I play the role as the fixer. Do y'all ever find, do, find you do that? I don't. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm maybe I'm the one that does that. You know what? I'm going to move that one because I'm going to put this right up to the edge of that flower as a leaf. And then I'm going to move. Okay, I need some more glue down. You know, I just, I get so excited when I just have like three or four things lying around and I have no idea what's going to happen. Isn't that kind of fun? But people who garden, they get that when they plant their bulbs and everything. Like we planted a bunch of bulbs and then when they came up, but one year when we planted all the bulbs, like I was so excited. And guess what happened? The squirrels went into all the holes. So... Uh, we had no flowers. <laughs> All right, let me see. There we go. But the squirrels were happy. They got their little happy on, that's for sure. They probably got fat and happy. So if you kind of want to emulate something like this where, you know, this is thin fabric and then this is more chunky fabric. This is like upholstery type fabric. Okay, so it, it you know, what kind of, what am I trying to say? What type of fabric it is? Um, it, it, basically, I guess probably the best way to say it is upholstery type fabric. So that's where you can turn it into art by having it, you know, having the thin fabric and then having this, because if people pick it up or whatever, run their hands over, they're going to see the dimensions, which is just really amazing. Let's go ahead and put this up this way and move me up this way. See my happy hat? Whoops, my little camera just decided to pop off. Okay. Look, oh, oh, I'm loving this. Oh, it's just making me feel about bloom. Let me pop my little camera back in so y'all don't lose me. I can't believe I just did that. Ta-da, there we go. There we go. So that is not wanting to stay down. So what I'm going to do is I've got what's called E6000 glue. I've shown it. It's like my staple. Actually, my favorite glue is called Loctite. But I go through it like water. <laughs> so E6000 is my next favorite. But if you need something like major super glued, I'm telling you, the um, Loctite glue is awesome. So I'm just 
putting that down with my finger. Don't worry, I'll wash my hands. Should be using my little bamboo skewer. I have a little bamboo skewer here that I can put on the glue, like so. Do -do -do. And I can slide it right in underneath there. There we go. And then the other side of the skewer, I can push it down. And then guess what? My hands don't get dirty. But you already know. It's kind of like I live with dirty hands. I don't know if I went from one extreme to the other. I know people who knew me in the real estate industry and being all polished all the time, they're probably like, she's wearing a hippie beanie with a ponytail and her hands are dirty all the time. <laughs> but y'all, I absolutely love it. And to be able to start an, another business of just pure, pure creativity of this kind instead of thinking about, I would go to bed, y'all, if you're in real estate watching this, I would go to bed and worry about how many leads you were going to generate on your website. Like, it was like I owned 300 real estate companies. Like, I took so much responsibility. No wonder. <laughs> no wonder I burnt myself out. Okay. I know. Share vulnerably, but I don't know how many of y'all do that. Sometimes we take on the responsibility of other of things that we can't control. Right? Preach. Preach, Trisha. Preach. Preach to yourself. I got to remember that as a mom, too. Okay, so this is weird. I was thinking about doing this whole flower. But you know how I separated the, the leaves over here? Oh, I'm like so torn because once I once I do it, I can't get it back. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Once I do it, I can't get the flower back. Because I only have one swatch. I don't know if I can find it ever again. Sometimes you just got to jump and build your wings on the way down, baby. <laughs> That's what one of my mentors, Paul Martinelli, he's awesome. He, he runs um, Empowerment and Living, and he was the president of the John Maxwell Organization in leadership, and I'm trained in that. And he would say, jump and build your wings on the way down. Because if you ever wait for it to be perfect, you'll never do it. I'm like, oh, isn't that the truth? Oh, okay. So here's an idea. Here's a, here, here's a thought. I could actually do it like maybe not on this side. But I could do it in the swoop right here because we're going to wrap the top up in um, like a twine or something like that. Let's see what happens. I wonder how many of y'all are like single and would like me to craft on Friday nights or you're married with kids and you're just like Friday night. I just, we're, we're not running out. We're not running around. I would just to like chill out besides watching a TV show, maybe watch a little craft in and just, you know, chill out. Love to know. Always trying to figure out how to what how to uh, serve y'all and give you some things that you might enjoy. You know what I mean? Y'all know what I mean, Jelly Bean. Okay. 
I figured I might as well stay on. And then if y'all hop off, you can hop off. But at least then I'll have it recorded. And then I'll probably do another private recording for the tribe on some other supply stuff and things. But okay. So I need to turn this around. Sorry to do that on you. All right, so I am cutting around the flower. No turning back now. Carve your own path, Trisha. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. I'm having so much fun doing this with y'all. I totally forgot how much fun I had decorating bottles. Oh, yes. Oh, wait, guys, you're going to love it. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold the horses. Don't leave. You're going to see this. Wait, hold on. All right, let me shake that out. I'm going to have to vacuum later. Okay. I'm just getting my happy on because I just saw what happened. Okay. Oh, see, now you know I'm getting happy because I put my fingers in instead of the brush. Too excited. Too crazy. She's bringing out the fingers, ladies and gentlemen. And no, I'm not drinking. It's coffee. <laughs> but I'm getting excited. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Watch this. Oh. Oh, give me a little happy. I'm like a little kid dancing in my chair. All right, watch this. I'm going to put this right in the curve. Oh, right in the curve. And I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to have to cut that little brown off there. Oh, yes. Guys, look. Guess what I'm going to do? You know, this like this kind of stuff. I'm going to bring that up and do it as a vine around the neck. Oh, <laughs> okay. Best ever. Okay, let me get my little. All right, I got to get these little teeny scissors because it's the little crochet or the little, the little knot there. And I don't want that on there. Go away, little guy. Go away. Cut, cut, cut. There we go. Get rid of that. That little puff of fabric. Go away. Okay. And that's why I need my little wet nap. Oh, and I have one. You know, you just got to love it when you got some alcohol wet naps. And when everybody went crazy and was looking for them. By the way, I had to stop doing alcohol ink classes because I couldn't find the alcohol. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this E6000 glue and my little skewer again, okay? Oh, I'm so excited, y'all. I can't wait for us to start putting the, the leaves on and it come together because you are going to flip. I know you are because I'm, I'm seeing it come together and I'm starting to flip excited. Oh, my gosh. Oh, such a happy pill. See, this is why I can't just create barn quilts with for y'all. Because mixed media is like my happy little drug. I'm not kidding y'all. I I literally. I and so I've what do you think? Do you I need to have a place on my site 
whether it's on Go Find Your Happy or maybe Trish Andreessen, which one do you think I should have it on? Um, where people can buy my custom art that I make from my heart. I guess I could have it on both. I could have it on Go Find Your Happy, but I could have it on Trish Andreessen. I think the thing though is like having it on Go Find Your Happy, that's more to the world who like doesn't really know me to the level like y'all do. Am I just like talking too much about my own personal heart there? I'm like, trying, but I just, I, you know, I don't want my art just to sit in my house. I want it to bless somebody else. You know, I want them to have a piece that they can put in there. Okay. So here's an example. Last Christmas, I got a call, right? I had been coaching. I coached a CEO of a company and she was a startup company. When I, um, she flew me out to um, Missouri, I brought hand painted ornaments that I did. And I had used like the mandala dot kind of concepts and black and white and everything. I had forgotten, you know, last Christmas that I had given them to her. She called me and said, we just hung the ornaments that she painted for us on the tree. And I had to call you. And that just like warmed my heart so much. So should I have a gallery section more elaborate on my site to be able to sell these kinds of things for folks who might not want to um, do this? They might like want to watch and get the story right, written of it. I'd love to know your thoughts on that. Would you want to buy an original art piece possibly from me that's signed, you know? I met with a um, a big art distributor in Atlanta last year about over my prints or over my originals that they would turn into prints and actually sell them to like doctor offices, you know, law, you know what I mean? Like, or into stores, you know, how like you go into stores and like Kirkland's would be, you know, so, oh, God. Oh, so pretty. Oh, so pretty, pretty, pretty. Okay. Oh, I'm, this is making me so happy right now. I can't even control myself. I'm turning this around for me right now because I was just thinking like that was cut off. So what I could do is I could, all right, little guy, stay with me. Center my little coffee cup. Multi-use. That's what I was thinking, um, Linda. Yeah, like a lot of people don't craft, and but they want things already made. Like, for example, like, um, you're, you're totally right. I'm thinking of a few, like, CEOs and so forth that they go to the store and buy. They're looking for unique items to put, you know, that have meaning. Um, Like when I was a national speaker for Realtor.com, this is years ago when I was in my 20s and stuff, I traveled right all over the country. And I purposely bought things that no, I felt that no one else would have in their home. It was because I loved art. At that time, I wasn't doing the level of crafting or art that I was doing today because I had forgotten that part of myself. I had actually forgotten that I had done all that stuff. Kind of weird. So here's what I'm doing. I'm taking some elements of what I just cut away and I'm hand putting it into. Um, I may not swoop it all the way around, but I just might. I wasn't planning on it, but I'm thinking, and I know this is detailed work. My shoulder might be hurting tonight, Ooh, but I can't stop it. It's too, too much of a happy I remember when I hurt my shoulder in 2016 and I went to, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Brendan Bruchard, but I went to his conference 
And oh my gosh, I literally had to leave the class and go up to the hotel room and I laid on ice. That's when I knew I needed shoulder surgery. Because <laughs> I was like, hmm, I'm hurting a little too much to function. Okay, so these are just like little, little, um, I don't know if this is cross stitched or or what this is of this kind of fabric, but it is very, very cool fabric. But I also know it's very expensive fabric. Hence why I just have a swatch. But don't let that wig you out thinking that you have to buy expensive fabric. What it means is keep a lookout of fabrics that might be unique that can take something to the next level. All right, so I'm going to use this E6000 again. A little skewer. And these skewers the best. They are the best. Wow, I am so loving this. A lot of times when I make things, I have to hold on to them for a while because they like are my little happy and then and then I wait for a period of time and then and then it goes for sale. The lighthouse, I just it, the person who it went to, they actually work for the American Red Cross. And he will probably be going back down. And he gives so much of his heart to um, serving the country. And him and his wife. I, I, it just blessed me beyond measure that, that um, the lighthouse painting. And what was crazy is they just finished redoing their bedroom. And he sent me a picture and said, Look at your painting. It matches our bedroom that we just did. It was crazy. It was like it was made for them. It's amazing. <laughs> so I don't know. I think it's just no accidents in life, I guess. Even the hard things that we go through, we have to give it to God. So I don't know if I'm going to I'm not sure if I'm going to take the orange all the way up or not. I mean, I do have, let me get your thoughts. Like I do have that, that I can add on. I don't think I'm supposed to. I think I need to end right. Let me see. Let me take it up this way. You know what? I'm going to take that piece off. I'm not happy with that. And what we're going to do is we're going to, swoop. Don't you love that word? Swoop. We're going to swoop, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to swoopy swoop. Um, we're going to swoop this green. These green um, threads. And Here's a tip. If you don't have the threads like this, but you have some cool kind of, I, I wouldn't say like yarn, but you know what I'm talking about. If you have some strings or whatever, you can integrate that in to your work. Trim that up a little bit more. I am going to lift, okay, so I'm going to do the, um, this. I just decided to revert to this E6000 just because this particular type of fabric is um, heavier 
then maybe Mosh Posh would keep it down. You saw that when I was doing that beginning part, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift this up a little bit and slide it underneath just a tad. I'll flip it up here in just a second. I can tell you one thing. Crafting has definitely helped me lose weight because my hands are so busy that I don't eat. <laughs> well, you know, I need to eat, but you know what I'm saying. Look at that. Now that is really pretty. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and go ahead and take that a little bit of stem work up to goodness gracious. I love mixed media. Probably getting tired of me saying that. I could teach mixed media every single day of my life. I think. I also love teaching, helping you get your voice out. How to get your talents to the world. How to get your strengths to the world to help other people. Help yourself, heal yourself. I don't know. It all comes together. I think that's why I like helping you journal and then be able to create because I journal and it allows me to think about just, you know, things in life. And that's what spurs um, my art is because that's why I have stories behind my art is I don't just sit down and go, Oh, I mean, I mean, sometimes I'll say, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and, try a concept but then all of a sudden the emotions come together and it just starts spilling out kind of like this here and i don't like that i'm not going to use that little yellow orange thing there use my wipe I'm thinking we should put some twine up all on the top and let's just see what happens. What do you think? I mean, I know that this is really pretty, but I think that's too gaudy for this. I, I'm not feeling the bedazzly thingy here. I think we should go more of a, a rustic feeling tone to this like just like a like a really sophisticated I don't want to say farmhouse because it, it might not necessarily be a farmhouse but okay this I am definitely going to do this string up here Yeah, I actually want to make this complete art related. So that is to the side, ladies and gentlemen, to the side. And what we're going to do is I'm going to swoop. Yep, that's it right there. Awesome. Yeah, there we go. I can probably use Mosh Posh on this one now. I don't think that's too heavy there. I don't want any glue showing up. None. I want it nice and clean and polished.
but bringing this around. Yeah, liking that. Bring that down just a little bit. I'm going to turn around and look at it. For, oh my gosh. It's so pretty. Okay. But right here, right here, I, I've got to do something right there. It just doesn't flow exactly the way I want it to flow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put... another piece of green in there. So if you ever go to Restore and you see pillows and they're like $2, that's just totally worth it for the fabric right there. Even if you don't use the pillow, you don't use the stuffing, could you repurpose the fabric? Because it could very well be something that you could do something like this with. In fact, this is inspiring me so much. I almost, I, you know, put it on my list. But man, I, I'm thinking I could do a whole canvas around acrylic and fabric and just I think it would be pretty pretty cool I think I need to finish my four foot by four foot canvas first oh and also finish editing my 1006 word novel I know right that's where I've got to go away after the in January and just lock myself up and edit that thing. I'm not focusing on it right now because of the holiday season. Let me turn this back around and see how I feel about that. All right, so what I'm going to do is right here, so it doesn't have such a hard edge, I'm going to actually pull some of that those little orange leaves into this now where I didn't feel like I had a home for them, I do now. I can't wait to show my hubby this. Hmm. I have to cut that. Boy, talk about detailing. Ooh, I wasn't planning on that, but just too much of a nitpick. I have to, it just didn't, doesn't feel right to me. mean to be so quiet on you, but I'm just trying to get this detail right here. I just feel like it needs one it needs one more of some kind. Let me see. Sorry to turn it around off of y'all, but I've just got to get this detail in. Aha, there we go. Yay! Got it. 
So what I did is I just kind of brought that up, like kind of that little whimsy feeling right there. And I'm not going to do another one there. Okay, so now I'm going to cover that with the brush of the Maj Podge, Maj Podge, Mod Podge, whatever, you know what I'm trying to say. All right, let's do that. Give it a good coat over the top. So I've got my art featured at Thistle Do Market in um, downtown Hickory. I don't know if I should maybe take this in and put it there, or do you think I should offer it online first? Hmm, my gut's saying I should maybe offer it online first. I could showcase it at the um, the event here at the house next month that I haven't told anybody about yet, but I think Kurt was worried about me. He's like, man, that was just so much work and it hurt your shoulder for recovery. And he's... So I think I actually want to make it a private gallery ticket event. I think that's what I've got to do. So that way I know how many people are coming. And it doesn't have to be an expensive ticket event, but it's not like, oh, like show up if you want to. I, I, I can plan a little bit better because as an artist and uh, stuff, it's hard, for, you know, it's hard to plan and oh I love this so much look at this back how gorgeous this is now let's pull this up so you can see it and as this dries I will be putting it outside and I will decorate it with flowers and and I may not be done with this yet but I mean this is truly done just as it is simplistically. I'm going to, you know, cut this part off of this wine bottle here. I, I need to have a, you know, my uh, clippers or whatever. I'm going to, once I clear that off, then I am going to wrap the top here with a, um, I don't know how thick I'm going to go yet. I haven't decided. I can try this and bring this back down. Oops, I'm sorry. So I think I'll bring that. I might bring that in. But right now I'm not gluing in or anything. I was just looking at the concept there. I think what I'm going to do is only, I'm going to do a thinner twine and I'm going to get this. I should have gotten that off before, but I didn't. Do as I say, not as I do. Ha ha. Note to self. Got so excited painting it. But I mean, I could actually glue over top of it. It's not like that big of a deal. I have another size of um, twine that could potentially work. I also have like this cool... Um, type of 
like twine ribbon. So what I'll do is I'll just kind of play around with what I want to do. I had planned on like adding like some wood pieces to it. But I don't, I just don't know. I don't, I mean, I think that's pretty. I obviously I could hang dangle that. Do you know what I'm saying? Actually, that that's flipping pretty. <laughs> And I could actually saw and just have, I could use it as an element. Hmm. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is a leaf I've got. Oh, oh wait a minute. Oh, Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Let me see. Let me see if I can. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Hold on. <laughs> I've got an idea and I didn't realize how well this could bend or me put pressure on it. Hold on. Oh, please work. Please, please work. Please work. Okay. If y'all are watching, don't go anywhere because this, I think, going to be kind of cool. See what happens. Why am I whispering? I don't know. Because I'm getting excited. That's why. Oh, please work, please work, please work, please work. Okay, let's hold it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I might have to get another level of E6000 on it. Look at that piece of wood there. Oh, baby. Talk to me. Oh. I can't wait when more people can join and watch this and maybe get their happy on. And get some ideas. These are these, these I got in, I think the paper section of um, Michael's. Okay, come on, baby. Smooth down for me because I really like you. Come on. The little leaf is not wanting to participate with me. Come on, come on, little guy. Be my friend. Come on. Really want you to work. Come on. It's not really wood. It's like a cardboard. So it's being temperamental on me, but I so want it to work. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Try a little more. Why am I whispering? Now it's peeking up on that side. It's almost like I need a clamp. Come on. I thought you would be so cool on here as an element. That's where sometimes I like Loctite because it just, man, it glues super duper fast. You know what I'm saying? 
like, but it's, it's more expensive too. So, any six thousand for the most part does work. Come on, come on! I am determined for you to work. We are going to push you down and hold you down, baby. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and gloss that over with some Mod Podge and see if, if it will stay. Stay for me, baby, stay. Please, why don't you stay? Oh, I loved Sugarland country music. Down on my knees. Okay. I really hope that comes out good. I guess we shall see, won't we? But I just love the, let me see. Love the wood element of it. It's just really cool. The question is, is how well is it going to dry for me? But that's where I just got to let it sit overnight and stop being impatient. Linda, you were asking me about um, the place. Um, they've actually got my stuff on commission, and he, he set up a whole section for me. He is so wonderful. So... But I think the more people come to my studio and just kind of watch me, I mean, they could come and just watch me without me setting up everything. And they could just watch me create, you know? So. All right. Guys, I'm going to head off. Y'all have a wonderful night. I am going to let this sit and relax. And I hope you enjoyed this evening and had a a joyous time. Okay. Have a blessed night.